Hey everyone, RSKRS here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2! It has been a week since the last time I played this game. I am so sorry about that. However, for y'all, it'll be, be a bit normal, because even though this is a week since the last time I recorded this game, it's still about a week before the finale of Twilight Princess is going up. Yay! I've also adjusted my audio setup somewhat, so hopefully I hear a little less background noise. Hopefully the actual game audio and my voice are not overpoweringly loud. Let me know in the comments if it sounds any better. I think I'm probably starting to get a handle of it after I've got literally about almost 60 episodes through another series. I mean, last time we set off on our journey through space here and collected two power stars from the very first galaxy of Sky Station. And this time we're going to be heading out again to a new galaxy. We are going to be going to Yoshi Star Galaxy. We did Sky Station Galaxy last time. We pretty much finished Sky Station Galaxy last time. This, I don't know how fast this let's play is going to go. I know, like, just as a heads up, I was debating whether to play this game or a different one. I went with this one because I knew it would be longer and that the summer would be the best time to do it. So I went ahead and went with this choice. But Yoshi Star Galaxy. There we go. Oh, boy. My... Wow, my pointer sensitivity is not good right now. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna roll with it! Saddle up with Yoshi. I'm also wearing headphones right now, so if I'm talking slightly louder, that is why I can't actually let my TV make any sound right now. Because unlike Twilight Princess, it is overbearingly loud, and the mic will automatically, like, will always pick it up. And I don't want that, and y'all don't want that either. Is this mirror is the music in this game better than Galaxy 1? I can't help but think that it's better than Galaxy 1. Surely I'm not alone on this. Also, sorry, I'm paused for a moment. Just because I am rearranging things. <laughs> Hooray! I am efficient. I properly set up everything before recording. There are like 50 wires here right now. Better than, I'm, better than I'm streaming Sonic Adventure anyway. I don't actually know if that can be finished. Well, no, it probably won't be finished during by the time uh, this comes out. Wow, that pointer is really iffy. Uh, we've got a Yoshi egg in a, in a uh, little spear. Ah! Really? Did that just happen? Where are you going? Oh, all the way around? I don't know if I'm trying to actually... Oh, it's just straight up like a glass sphere. Okay, well that gets rid of this! Uh, go a little Goomba. Yoshi hatched from the egg! You're saving me! Yoshi, Yoshi! I was trying to save my friends, but then I got turned into an egg and trapped. Yoshi, Yoshi! I know! We should team up! Come on! Hop on my back! Yoshi, Yoshi! For anyone running around saying Yoshi Yoshi in literally every other Mario game, whenever Yoshi talks, it'll skip words, but they're like in parentheses, and what he's actually saying is still just Yoshi Yoshi. This is the one game, I swear, where that is not consistent. It's kind of weird. But yeah, we got Yoshi! We still got a spin attack, we got a flutter jump now. If we try to do a, do a backward somersault, it will pop us off Yoshi. And our pointer has been changed to like a weird little tongue icon. We're gonna get into that. But yeah, I really like the addition of Yoshi to this game. That one mission in the first game, a little bit of a tease, not gonna lie. Just a small bit. <laughs> Y'all know the one I'm talking about. <clears throat> World 2, first level. <clears throat> or Secret Star, anyway. But yeah, we can, uh, we can eat enemies. We can actually. A lot that you multiple at. That was a great example. Uh, I'll go over here. We can actually lock onto multiple targets at once. I think it's three at most. Also, these little weird little bug things are afraid of us. Yay! Yeah, Yoshi is really useful. And on another note, some useless time coming out of the Wii remote. Ah, Star coin. There we go. Or. Comet Metal. Comet Metal. I'm- how many times I'm gonna call those Star Coins? Whoop! There we go. 
What? Hi. What do you have to say? Yeah. There she goes. You can change the camera. I actually forgot that, but that's kind of... Oh, no, I, I can see you getting this far without figuring that out. I hadn't. I actually forgot you can turn the camera at all in this game. I really need to find what clock it is and turn it off. There's like five clocks in this room because it's not my room. I need to find what clock that is and turn it off. You guys actually never don't know, I record out of what is basically a personal library. Just because I don't have a actual room set up for recording. Yeah, this thing! Ah! Get off! Yeah, that thing is very interested in Yoshi. Ah! Another one of these. Come on, Yoshi! Ow! Uh-oh. 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 Yoshi! Pointer! The pointer completely vanished for a minute. I still got them all! Oh, that is very forgiving, actually. Yeah, I might need to adjust something after this recording. That is the thing for the pointer! Or the little, uh... What the heck is the thing called you put on top of your TV? I haven't actually called that thing by name in years. Uh... Anyway, pulling out your tongue, Long Star appears. Also, the volcano erupts star bits. Because, of course. I mean, I don't mind, I got 125 star bits! Uh, dice block! I don't know if I showed this off yet, I don't think I have. But if we hit this dice block, you have a chance of getting coins, a Goomba, or a 1-Up. And of course, I got the worst possible one. There's our launch star. Let's, uh, get some more star bits. Yeah, I was going a little fast last episode. I do want to explore around some more. Like, the galaxy games are not generally known for exploration, but you can do quite a bit in some of these levels. Also, this planet should look familiar to anyone who's played the first game. Yep, they reused the planet, more or less. I honestly do not really mind, though. Okay, let's try this. Just, in a, just a cool thing you can do with Yoshi there to get it some extra height. And that's what I get for abandoning... Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's what I get for abandon, abandoning the Yosh. Also, if Yoshi is left on a company for a long enough period of time, he will go back to being an egg. And, I was, and if you saw, if you get hit by an enemy, you'll pop off Yoshi and Yoshi will run around. I see the glow of a power star! And a Paragoomba- I just realized, were Paragoombas in the first galaxy? I don't remember if Paragoombas were even in the first galaxy game. Oh my god! Someone let me know if they were, but I don't remember them! It's like no one remembers that for so... Uh, these guys. You just need to spin attack into them, or tongue them. God dung them. And then... There you go. Uh, you can just run into them again. Ow. Okay. Okay, I'm switching to earbuds after this rather than headphones, because, man, with all this talking I'm doing, my mouth is super uncomfortable. And I, like... Okay, that helps somewhat. I just expanded them. I am professional, let's player. I get all my shit together before I record. Uh, free one up. You can also kind of, kind of bounce yourself back and forth on this thing. Yeah, I really like Yoshi, actually. I've heard some people actually say they don't like Yoshi in this game. I can see why. It doesn't add that much. It's more or less just another power up, but it is still super fun. And it travels between planets, which is really interesting. Ah, Yoshi! Also, that flutter jump. Never underestimate that flutter jump. I swear if I die here. You know what? Can I just eat this guy first? Yeah, that would have been smarter. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, stop it! Don't worry, uh, pointer still works the same even as tongue pointer. Have to hit this crystal twice, and there is our power star. All the way up there. Let's grab this one, and star. And yes, he's in the animation! That, that was pretty good comment metal, yep. Again, one for each level, always in the first mission. Don't forget it, it will cause you pain later. So we can advance onward right now, but I kind of want to go back to the Yoshi Star Galaxy. Say, I don't mean the... Oh, shoot, what voice did I give him? It's been a week. I'm just going to go with normal voice. Say, I don't mean the prior or anything, but what is that thing over there? I mean... Be stoked with me, pal. Are you hatching alien eggs now? Uh -huh. I don't know if that was a terrible har har. But yeah, we now got Yoshi! Oh, this is the wrong way. <laughs> this area is somehow in vastly smaller than the Comet Observatory in the first game, and yet I get lost immediately. Also, there's one of those dice blocks here as well, but this one actually doesn't have a Goomba on it, so you're fine. We haven't actually explored Starship Mario. There's a little Yoshi-only area here, and if we get all of these... I said if we get all of these... It might actually just be faster to have... Okay, no, because there's a delay. I licked a sign. No. But if you get all of those, you get a 1-up. Super handy to know in case you're coming across a hard level. So now something I want to point out on Starship Mario is that we have an orange Luma. Even heroes need a hand sometimes. You have one one more Wii Remote, a friend can help you. Your friend can stop enemies with A and shake the Wii Remote to spin them into the air. Interesting. We're going to keep that in mind for later, but what that's alluding to is that you can actually play this game with two people. Now, it's not true co-op like, well, literally any other co-op game, but... <laughs> It is far better than it was in Galaxy 1. You actually get more than just a second pointer. But we're going to be going into that another time. But for those of y'all who, who happen to follow me on Twitter, y'all know that I've actually released artworks recently of both the yellow and the orange Luma. That was my hint that I was playing Galaxy 2. There you go. Because that orange Luma did not exist in the first Galaxy. There's more to do in Starship Mario, but we'll go be going over it another time. In the mean... Well... Another time! In the meantime... Derp. Let's go back to Yoshi Star Galaxy and do the other mission here. Second mission, Spiny Control. Oh, boy. Yeah, this uh, place is infested. Uh, it doesn't look like we have Yoshi at the start still. Yeah, Spinies, you can't really do anything to them. Don't even, just avoid the Spinies. You pretty much cannot do anything to them. For our plans, we can do something about though. And luckily now, we got a Yoshi earlier. Uh, we have a Lakitu here who constantly drops Spinies, but you can just... Yeah, all you need to do is get rid of his cloud. And that's it. You can also... Eat the spinies and shoot them back out, which is really fun. And we got another bonus area here. Let's uh, get, uh, get in here. Oh, right, like to respond. Whoa, this is different. What? Ow! Oh, you can start at those guys. I didn't know you could. Well, wherever that 1-up was, we, don't, we weren't getting it. <laughs> uh, here's our launch star over here. We got a 1-up over there, but I'm... I, I don't know what y'all have a sense. 1-ups are not carried over every time you turn off the console. I'm 
not terribly interested in getting it. You can also, uh... Okay, I was trying to shoot like you there, but that didn't work. Uh, get out of here, you. Yeah, Sam's one-ups don't carry over between every time you turn the console back off and on. I'm honestly not going to be going for one-ups all that much, because they're usually more trouble to get than they really worth, and I don't want to make these videos too long. Because sometimes one-ups can actually take, like, a little bit to get. And it's just, it's just not worth it sometimes for something that is literally going to be lost the minute I turn off the console, because, of course, I'm not playing the entire game at once. Also, if y'all hear that, it is a torrential downpour right outside right now. Uh, so hopefully the power doesn't go out or anything. Get out of your life, too. That was, that, that pieces me. Uh, what do you have to say? Even Yoshi can eat, uh, can't eat one of those pointy things. Can he? Uh, well, I can eat you. Or not. Get tongued by Yoshi. Uh, let me guess. Yep, Volcano reps again. Stop it! Got ourselves a checkpoint. Got ourselves a random fruit. Uh, let's... Get these. You can also grab these, uh, spiny balls before they hit the ground. Which is really nice to know. Oh, I just let those starbucks drop into the void, didn't I? There we go. And, uh... For good measure. <laughs> okay. Whoa, where's this go? Optional planet! Uh, optional planet with more star bits. Oh, boy. This is gonna be interesting, actually, isn't it? Yep, they got their own gravity! Oh, there's a one-up over here. That one's not too far out of the way. That's a life mushroom over here. Uh, this, is, this doesn't happen often if you'll have a launch star in the path of a launch star, but... Just keep an eye on it. It might happen every now and then. I think it only ever happened once in the first game, actually. Well, technically twice, I suppose. Okay, getting to that center one might... Actually... I'll get it, I'll get, I'll uh, get you out of the egg again soon, Yoshi. You can't long jump with y Yoshi, that's why I had to leave him behind there. For anyone wondering. See? We got it. we got our Yoshi friend back right away. Uh, pointer. That's a long time, Yoshi. That is a very forgiving time limit. Okay, let's pull this one out. Oh. I see. There we go. And let's head on. Oh, there's a one-up! Oh, well. Well, I did say I'm not going for every one-up. Because that's ridiculous. Um, what just happened there? So, it's, like, King Lackey 2. But, I was trying to... Okay, I need to adjust my sensor bar right after this recording. You can probably guess what we need to do here. Oh, thunder. Okay, I might be wrapping this recording up earlier just because I don't want the power to go out mid-recording. Because, for those of you who don't know, I cannot make multiple save files in this game. Meaning, if I have a failed recording, that's just kind of bad luck. It's not that big of a deal as far as levels are concerned, but if there's kind of any kind of cutscene, that would just be lost. How fitting that there's actual real life thunder in this boss fight where this where this guy is doing this craziness with the lightning. 
Going for it once. Whoa. Oh, he's invincible during that. Oh, shoot. Uh, sorry, Yoshi. Crap, got him. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh my god, there's a lot of these things now. I got him. Wow, that cleared up fast. Well, that's Yoshi Star Galaxy. Seven coins. Yeah, that that's useful. I don't really know why I saved coins. Uh, what do you say, Blue Luma? I've never actually talked to every Luma on this. Oh, uh, Blue Luma saving Quint. Yeah. Let's head back right now. There's nothing else to do in Starship Mario at the moment, and we've done everything in this segment. So let's see what we got ahead of us. I think we got time for about one more mission, maybe. Okay, we have a galaxy up there, but we also have a hungry Luma here, a thing coming back from the first game, who seems to want 300 star bits. Let's flag him on, I guess. Looks like you found a hungry Luma. Hope you got a stack of star bits, because those guys can eat. Yeah, this is why you want to collect star bits. He wants 300, we have almost 600. Hey, you. Hey, yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits I can snack on? So hungry. Feed me delicious star bits. I need to chow on 300. Then I'll transform. So we're basically giving him, giving, or making him horribly obese and forcing him to explode into a galaxy. Yeah. Kids game. That's the stuff. Oh, so full. I think I'm about to transform. I will never do that voice again for these guys. I, I am so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that makes us a new galaxy. Usually Hungry Luma galaxies will only have one power star, but they will still have a Comet Medal in them. And since we have time for more or less just one more star, I think we just go ahead and do this. The Flip Swap Galaxy. Oh, I remember this galaxy. This is a mechanic that got reused in the other games, like 3D Land and 3D World. Only, it was far worse than those games. I prefer this game's version of it. Think before you shake. Don't take that out of context. Hey, we got a little star bunny over here. And the tutorial showing me to shake the Wii Remote. But yeah, as you can probably figure out what's going on every time we spin the platform switch. 3D Land and 3D World, where spinning was not a thing, it was every time you jumped the platform would switch. Be glad that is not the case here. Jump, spin, make them flip! So yeah, we are gonna have to think before we shake. Again, don't take that out of context. However, you can also just kind of Ignore it. Eh. Oh, that guy's gone. I need to build up my star big count again, because as you can guess, the next time we come across a hungry Luma, we're probably gonna be more than 300. Wow, is, is my pointer getting in... My pointer's in front... The mic is blocking my pointer. I just realized that. Oh my god. Is that really what's... Okay. Uh, let's not get hit by the electricity. Uh, I mean, if it's that easy, I would get at it. Okay, let's time this one. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> uh, that Goomba's gonna stay frozen there. Ah, we got Chain Chomps here. If we switch to platforms, he'll actually roll along a predetermined path. 
Let's just leave him innocently falling into the void. As for where these guys are coming from, don't ask questions. Uh, free one up. Yep. There's our, uh, not star coin, comet medal. Whoa! I can't repass the chain chomps. Let's get over here. Yeah, I don't think I can make these like just doing insane or insane stunts. Now this one I can probably make. It's kind of reminds me actually of the uh, levels in Mario Sunshine, the secret missions in that game, where you had to uh, go through like a platform and such without flood. It reminds me of that here. To time and extent, you're supposed to actually just time your spins, but I always like to take the approach of don't spin. Do it without spinning. It's like a floodless level. I'm like one of the few people in that who played Sunset who actually like those levels. Think before you shake. Flips up Galaxy complete. Although, we're in a different spot. And we- Oh, we got a 1-up. Yay, that's gonna be the leader! Probably. You brought back a star bunny? Hey, hey! You know the one thing in the guy secured in one of those? None. That's what. Ha ha ha! Did I get you on that one? I feel like my love is slowly becoming more creepy sounding. <laughs> Well, it looks to me like that cute critter wants to tell you something. Like, I'm slowly making Lubba sound more menacing. What is going on? Yeah, we got the one up! Even though it's still gonna be. <laughs> we got 18 one ups this episode, and that's gonna be reset to like four at the end of this recording. I am so sad. Shake, shake when you're in mid jump. Spinning will give you just a little more mm. How do you think I jump so high, Boyoin? Try with me. Yeah. I, I didn't mean to talk again. No, stop talking. I don't care. Yeah, if you got this far without figuring that out, uh Well no, I guess it's possible. The game isn't the game hasn't forced you to do that, but I mean I've been doing it the whole time. You can get some real air actually. Right, with that, I think we're gonna end this episode here. Next time, we're gonna be heading to the other new galaxy we unlocked. And, well, getting more Power Stars. So thank you all for watching this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2! Twilight Princess HD almost slipped out, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you all for watching, I've been RSKOS, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!